Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Tracy, and I'm so excited that this week for family worship, I get to talk to you. So normally I'd be talking to your parents and they lead you in worship, but I thought this week it would be really fun if I could prepare you for our lesson. So before you watch your Bible study video this week, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about it. You might hear a lawnmower in the background uh, because I'm at my home. Do you see? I'm at my house sitting out on my porch, um, which is actually really appropriate for this week's lesson because Jesus went to his hometown, Nazareth. He had traveled around different places. He was in a city called Capernaum. He was in Galilee, but then he went to Nazareth, which was a little village um, in the hillside where Jesus grew up. And sometimes when you go home, it's really hard because not everybody where you grow up listens to you. Sometimes they still see you as a kid. In fact, in our story today, Jesus was talking in the synagogue and the synagogue was where they would meet and study scripture and worship. And he was talking in the synagogue and he was reading a passage, which it wouldn't have been a book that opened like that. It would have been a scroll that you rolled up a piece of paper and he unrolled it and he started reading it. And he was reading from the book of Isaiah. But this time when Jesus read everything from Isaiah and he finished teaching, he said, today this scripture has been fulfilled. See, Jesus went home and he was telling them everything you've been studying. This passage that Isaiah wrote over a hundred year ago, years ago um, is actually about me. It's fulfilled. I'm here. And all of this that you read is about me. And Jesus was telling the people back home, I am the Messiah. I'm the Son of God. I'm the one he sent to save you from your sins. But just like I said, when you go home, sometimes people still think that you're the kid they knew growing up. And so there were some who said, isn't this Joseph's son? You know, it was hard for them to understand that Jesus was God's son because they just remembered him being Joseph's son. Um, and then Jesus told them a message. Jesus reminded them that um, back when Elijah was a prophet, a great prophet, um, there was a time in the land where there was a famine. And you might remember that a famine is when um, the people go without food for a long time. Usually there's no water and maybe crops don't grow and they were hungry. And the widows of Israel, God's chosen people, they were very hungry too. But Elijah went to a widow from another country and he helped her. And then Jesus said, you may remember Elisha. Elisha was the prophet who came after Elijah. And um, there was a, an illness called leprosy when people would get sores on their skin and they could, it was very contagious. So they had to be sent out of the city and they, they couldn't come close to people, which was really sad for them. And Jesus said, you know, there were, there were plenty of people who had leprosy in Israel, but Elisha went to a Syrian man, a man from a different country called Syria, who had leprosy, a man named Naaman and Elisha healed him. And here's what Jesus's point was. Jesus wanted them to know that God um, shares his mercy and love and his grace with everyone, not just the Israelites. And Jesus had come for all people. He was sharing the good news about being the Messiah and wanting to save people from their sins. He was sharing it with everyone not just his own people, the Jews. But do you know what? When the people heard Jesus say that, they got upset. They got really upset because for one, they didn't think that non-Jewish people, the Gentiles, deserved God's mercy and forgiveness. They were upset that, that it would be for them too. And maybe they also felt like 
they were being compared to them. Maybe they also felt like, um, I know those non-Jews are really sinful people, but if the gospel's for me too, then that means I'm a really sinful person. And maybe they just didn't want to accept that they were really sinful too. So boys and girls, here's what I want you to see in the lesson today. Jesus made a point of returning to his hometown and reminding people that he came for everyone. Didn't matter where they were from, what they look like, how old they were, what color their skin is. Jesus came for everyone. And some people got really angry. So angry that they chased him. And, um, and they wanted to hurt Jesus, but Jesus escaped through the crowd. So, as we think about who the gospel is for, I want you to think if you live like Jesus is for everyone or just for you. Do you go and tell your friends that Jesus died for them? Or do you keep it a secret just for you because you kind of forgot that the gospel really is for all people? And when we think about other people, let's try to think like Jesus does. Let's try not to worry about things like their age or what country they came from or, or what color their skin is. You know how Jesus saw people? He saw them as one, people who believed in him, or two, people who didn't believe in him yet. And he loved both groups of people, but he really wanted those who didn't believe in him yet to learn about him and to trust him and to believe in him and put their faith in him so that he could save them from their sins. Isn't that awesome? Let's treat people like that. Enjoy family worship this week. I love you guys so much. Bye.